Right guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at one of the watches that I've been after for absolutely ages um, I wasn't aware there was like multiple, I knew there was multiple versions like different colourways and stuff but I didn't know there was different versions of the same colour because this is a smaller one uh, and I believe Jody he reviewed the larger one so if you want to see his uh, video there's no much difference between the watches uh, I think the only difference being is one that Jody bought and reviewed has loom and has a screw down crown Th this one that I've got is basically 38mm and it's thinner uh, push pull crown that's about the only difference. I'll leave a link in the description to Jody's review, uh, the larger one. Right, play the intro. <laughs> right, guys, let's get into it then. To give this its proper name, I'll put it up on the screen as well. It is, well, they call it Citizen the Citizen, which is fucking stupid if you ask me. Let's just call it the Citizen Chronomaster AQ4020 54Y. Now, I'll show you, I mean, the packaging, I'm glad I'd never spent an absolute shit ton, but it is a, a, a lot different to your normal, you know, $300 citizen watches that you normally get. Right, you have like this wee wooden box, glass lid, citizen there, paperwork, cushion. And that's basically it. So that's as far as I'm going to take that. Put that away. Right, I. This is a watch I've been wanting for a long time. Let me zoom in a bit. That'll do it. Put my glove back on. Right, I've got my wee polishing cloth here. Um, because this watch there's a lot of polishing on it but it's not polished uh, in the important parts like the sides or the upper sides it's just there's a lot of polished accents that's a better way to describe it and I tell you I remember when I got this right and it was a Friday night and it was it was quite late and I didn't think it was going to arrive. Fucking DHL, as per usual. And it was about 7 o'clock at night and it arrived. And I brought it into my workspace and it was quite dark because I had the blind shot. I'm sure I was filming just beforehand. So it was quite, no dark, but low light. And I remember opening all the packaging and opening the lid of the box that I just showed you. And my reaction was, holy shit! Now, that's how good I think this, well, that's the impression it gave me when I first saw it. Seeing it, I mean, I record in 4K. But I tell you, this, it doesn't do it any justice. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but... Oh, wait, I turn that wee light on. It's a bit of a cliche. But, seriously, seeing this with your own eyes, I'm pretty sure you would react the same way I did. The polishing is friggin' amazing. And this is actually the first watch that I've experienced that has... Uh, Zaratsu polishing um, uh, you can tell the difference straight away you really can um, 
I mean, you'll get some watches like this Christopher Ward that I recently reviewed. Uh, that had fantastic polishing on it, but see when you when you do set them side by side, and you you know get the watch to play with the light and all that, it's oh it's superb, man. I mean, for the money, uh, there's nothing comes close to this. No even Grand Seiko. This pisses all over Grand Seiko at the same price. Because if you're looking to get a Grand Seiko like I was, this is how I stumbled upon this. And it was about a year ago. Ah, about a year ago. So it took me a year to get this. Because obviously I wanted it new, but I didn't want to pay new prices. So I did get a bit of a discount. I got it. I actually got this from Bai, and it was new old stock. Uh, I still paid an absolute fortune for it, but I paid a bit less than what, see the, like the two grand. I think it's supposed to be about two grand like the same as the Quartz Grand Seiko. Right, I'm waffling on a lot of shit here, because, I, I mean, I could talk all day about this watch, it's that good. Uh, I'll talk about... I'll, I'll go through everything, right? The retail price of these that's on the tag down there is 385,000 Japanese yen. I'm not going to try and work that out off the top of my head because I've not got a skibby. Um, I'll put a link up. I uh, know a link. I'll put a. I put some up on the screen to show you how that uh, equates to like US dollars in today's uh, exchange rate. Just to give you a rough idea, it's it's over two thousand anyway. That's easy. Uh, Right, let's get into it then. Right, I'll, as I say, this is the smaller version to the one that Jody reviewed. And I think this one's better. Right, my own dimensions as per usual. Let me move that out of the road so I can put my shit down this side. Uh, right, case diameter, 378 mil. Total thickness of 10.2 mil, lug to lug 44.9 mil, and the lug width on this is 19 mil. Now that's a bit unfortunate that it's got a 19 mil, but you're, the thing is, you're never going to take the bracelet off. So, didn't it bother me in the slightest. The total weight of the watch, sized up for my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist, is 74 grams. That's because it's titanium. Uh, the movement inside it is the Citizen EcoDrive module A060. High accuracy, very high accuracy. Uh, plus minus five seconds per year. Yes, you heard that right. This was the most accurate watch you could buy at, some, at one point until Citizen beat it. We had a different watch, but see, to be honest, I've seen that other watch and it's, it looks fucking terrible. And it's also mega fucking expensive. So I'm very happy with this Chronomaster. Uh, the movement is also anti magnetic, which is good. Um, and it also has a perpetual calendar. Um, and it's easy to set up. I'm not going to go through all the instructions, you can easily download the PDF and it's straightforward. Because when I got the watch, that's what I done. I downloaded the PDF, went through the bits to set up like the uh, leap year indicator, had a look at the power reserve, um, how to set it up, you know, so it's to the second. Uh, I and the day and the month and the year and as I said also the leap year indicator. Luckily when I checked it it was 
two, uh, 2023 anyway, so I didn't have to change that. Uh, all I had to do when I got it is change the date and the month. Uh, and I checked the year and the year was fine as well. It's easy to do. Simple. Uh, so I'm not what to fuck about with the settings on it anyway because I've got it set up perfect. So Google it, you lazy bastards. <laughs> no. Uh, just, as I say, download the manual. Right, let's talk finishing then. You have... Is that light on? Yes. Right, you have... Brushed finishing on the sides and on top, right? Then you have polished quite a, a large um, chamfered edge that runs along the top and obviously it's got that Zeratsu polishing and it's fucking like a mirror. Uh, the bezel, you have like, there's a tiny bit of brushing along the bottom but when you look at it and you first see it the bezel looks fully polished which basically it is uh, there's also polishing between the lugs I don't know if I'll catch it on camera but ah, you can see it there uh, there's a wee bit of polishing in the insides as well uh, there's no undercut but this watch is super slim it doesn't need to um, look slimmer than it actually is because it's just amazing the, uh, the case back screw down by the way I'm jumping ahead of myself uh, with the polished logo there Let's see if I can get that to oh, it's a bit dirty obviously I have wore it uh, so I can review it properly uh, you can see there that's a bit dirty obviously I'll clean this up because I am selling this watch by the way if you're interested, I'm, I'm going to try to make a video that I'm selling it. But it's like everything else I buy. I kind of keep everything because I run a, a review channel, obviously. And I just can't keep everything that I buy or I'll be bankrupt in a week. So I'm selling this. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, email me. I'll put the, my email address on the screen. So you can see it, and enough said about that. Uh, right, where was I? Right, I the case they call it super titanium, but it's basically it's it's titanium, but sitting uh, citizen, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> citizens have put the uh, Duratect, the hardness coating, uh, which is great. Because this is, is totally unmarked. And as I say, I got this as new old stock. And it's still unmarked. If you see any marks, it's just... Maybe it just needs a wee wipe. But trust me, if you look at this with the naked eye, it's totally unmarked. It's flawless. All the clasp and all that, look. Not a single scratch in it anywhere. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I wish I could keep this one, I tell you. I wish I could afford to keep it. But I can't. Right, there was a right eye. The bracelet, also titanium, brushed and polished. You can see there. Most of it's uh, brushed. But you do have those polished accents that run down the middle there. Really nice. Uh, male end links, by the way. Uh, sizing it up. Oh, Christ, I can't remember now. Oh, it's got screws. Is it a double headed? I think it was, you know. Aye, double headed screws, but it wasn't that difficult. Screws are really good quality. Not my favourite uh, way to size up a bracelet, but see, once it's sized, that's it, it's done. And once you set the watch as well, well that's it, done. You can just leave it forever. Super uh, accurate. 
as I say, I've had this here now, I think, about two months. And the last time I checked it, which was about last week, it hadn't missed a beat. It's still running bang on to the second. So I've not had to adjust it or anything. Know that I'm going to, I mean, fuck's sake, five seconds a year. Under that is what the stating. So, fantastic. Right. I'm sure I've missed bits out here. I've done that, I've done the uh, case, Saratsu polishing, brushing, blah, blah, blah. Did I, what did I write about that? Oh, the clasp. The clasp is disappointing, I've got to admit. It's a bit small, but when you put it on wrist, and you've got its size and everything, super comfortable. You've got half links and all that, as you can see there. So you will get a good fit. I got a perfect fit. So I don't have any issues with it. Uh, on the fly adjustment on the class would have been superb and really took the watch to another, to a whole new level. But I mean, how often do you adjust it, to be honest with you? Now and again, maybe. Anyway, all right, all titanium. Superb, I, but it's the finish, it's the best I've seen. Uh, this watch has the best finishing that I have ever seen. And I've seen more expensive watches than this. But this, if you can afford to get one of these, fucking buy it. Because you won't regret it. The finishing is... Well, it's just beyond anything else that I've seen, to be honest. Right, I'm starting to gush. Moving on. <laughs> uh, where am I? Bezel's fixed, obviously. It's titanium. It's got the polish and blah, blah, blah. Hardness coating and that. Crystal's flat sapphire. And... They have what they call as super clear anti-reflective coatings with a 99.9% clarity. I don't know if that was marketing spiel, but say to be honest with you, the crystal on this is it's fantastic. They've used the best available, that's for sure. And it is it does a good job actually that AR coating, and it is super clear as they call it. Right, let's talk about the dial. Right, you have this handmade. How do you, I don't know how you pronounce this, but toss a washi, white paper dial. Some Japanese fucking I don't know, but it's lovely. Uh, it is white. <clears throat> there is certain lights. See, to be honest, see how you've got that wee sunburst effect, kind of. That, I think that's on the underside, actually, because if I, you know what I'm like, I love white dials, right? And if I even see the hint of silver or off-white cream, anything like that, I, I lose interest. I like a, a, a crisp white dial. And this is... Oh, slabber. This is a white dial. No question. Right, I was talking about the dial, wasn't I? Right, you have multifaceted applied batons. So that's the polishing, and fuck, it's hard to show on camera, right? But, oh man, this thing just, see when certain lights hit it and all the rest of the stuff? It, this is a light show. Most definitely. I just hope it's coming across in camera. I don't think it is, to be honest with you. But when you see it with the naked eye, you're like, oh, fucking, that's sexy. Hence the thumbnail. Aye, really, really nice watch. Uh, the crown, on, that, on this smaller version, it's push-pull. And it is a bit small. I measured it at 5mm. But as I say, you're not going to use it like an automatic you know what I mean, if you use it every two or three days, you're, you're not setting nothing. So you set it once, push it in, and that's it, done. 
The bigger one does have a screw down crown, but to be honest this has got 100 meters water resistance anyway, so it's the perfect everyday watch. I would call it a sports watch. It is a wee bit on the dressy side, but I would say initially I would class it as a sports watch. Because it does, it's the perfect grab and go watch as well. Because it's super, uh, super accurate. It's probably more accurate than my phone anyway. That's how accurate this thing is. Uh, oh aye, you've got Dauphine hands. So that's the polish and same with the date frame. You can see how shiny that is. Shiny! Really, really good. Um, I dated three. I wish the date at six, but yeah, I, you just, I don't think I've seen a date at six watch from Citizen or Seiko for that matter. They always put it at three. But I'm nitpicking because it just does, it's fantastic. Right, I need to lay that down there so I can put in some of my B roll and stuff, eh, hey, whatnot. The water resistance, 100 metres, as I mentioned. Case back, I've done that. Screw down with the artwork and all that shit on it. Push pull crown, warranty. Now, if you buy it in Japan, you get a 10 year warranty. That's how confident they are in the product, citizen. Uh, but if you buy it internationally, I'm pretty sure you only get two years. Uh, but to be honest, this thing's going to last a lifetime. Unless you're hitting it with a hammer or, you know, putting your wrist between a door frame and a door constantly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to last forever and it does have the hardness coating on it, so it's going to look good. I mean, I've had it for a couple of months and there's not a single scratch on it. If you see anything on camera, because sometimes I go to the edit and I'm like, oh, check that out. But, trust me, it's totally unmarked. It's not a scratch on this. Beautiful, beautiful watch. It's the most beautiful watch I've ever reviewed. There, how's that for a statement? Stunning. Right, I'll give you a quick wrist chalk. Hey, eh, wrist chalk? Wrist check? Um, put that to the side. I'll zoom out a wee bit. Uh, today I'm wearing. I just talk about chalk and cheese. You what this cheapo Casio compared to, like, circa two grandish citizen. I mean that. I think the strap costs me on the watch. That's a, a Vario strap, super comfy. I don't know why I put this on. I just woke up this morning and I was like, I can't fancy wearing my wall timer. So I shoved it on. Anyway, I'll take that off and I'll give you a, a wrist shot of the Citizen. And it is stunning, fits perfect. Oh, fucking hell. Super comfortable, super lightweight. And there you have it. It's only 10 mil thick. As you can see there, that's why I prefer this one. Because I thought the bigger one was more like um, the Seiko that I reviewed a couple of months back. Because that was 39 point some mil, 39 and a half I think. But it wore quite big because uh, it was all dial. Whereas this... I think that, I mean, 38, call it 38 mil, right? It's 37.9 or 8 or something. Where's like a 38? Because male in, uh, end links and it's beautiful. Right. I think I've waffled on long enough. I, if I'll give this a, a award, I mean, it's expensive, but oh, by fuck, it's better than anything else that I've seen at that price. Uh, I mean, if this had, I don't know, Grand Seiko on the dial, and it had this spec, because, I mean, even when you compare 
the quartz movement in the Grand Seiko takes a battery and all that. This is solar. And you want to see the finishing of it. I'll put a picture up. And you're like, ah, fucking hell, that's better than some Omegas I've seen. Anyway, I'm waffling and waffling. Right, guys, I'm going to go. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel. Um, right, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!